Pragmatic Utopia Creation. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 119. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 119, June 21st, 2015 edition. As always, I'll be covering our team's progress and accomplishments for the last week with pictures and video. And if you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we will add you to our email newsletter list. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, Designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer and Satellite members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the final 25% of the content for the communication lesson plan to the website. This means that this lesson plan, which teaches all subjects to all learning levels using the central theme of communication, is now 100% complete on our website. We also finished the final 25% of image creation for the communication lesson plan mind map, which you can see here. This brings that mind map to 100% complete as well. In addition to this, we transferred 50% of our lesson plan with central theme of freedom to the website, and behind the scenes, graphic designer Lucas Almeida did image research for the entire freedom mind map. Lucas also helped us create this new image for the civilization lesson plan, which we featured this week across our social media channels. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined, and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week's core team working on highest good food finished the final social media imagery and featured our open source peppers hub. We also researched and added three additional recipes to the open source turnips hub, which you can see here. And more recipes from the Food Self-Sufficiency Transition Plan will be added to each of the individual hubs in the future. We also researched and added two additional recipes to the Open Source Parsley Hub, which you can see here. One is for omnivores, and one is raw vegan. Last but not least, we added three new recipes for Sandra Salani, vegan chef and author of What's Your QB? These recipes were added to the Food Self-Sufficiency Transition Plan, and they include banana pancakes with blueberry puree and basil, the avocado and veggie sandwich, and shepherd's pie. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team working on High Good Housing began the complete redesign of the Earthbag Village Pod 1 landscaping after changing the structural design of the net zero bathrooms. This work is about 50% done. Behind the scenes, we also began researching and adding all the waterproofing strategy equipment and materials images and descriptions. This work is about 50% done behind the scenes and will, once added to the site, complete the final 25% of the waterproofing strategy tutorial page. 
Song Nong, Masters in Mechanical Engineering, also finished the third round of elevation and cross-section modeling of these three dome structures in AutoCAD, adding the artistic door and window elements and creating front views for all four designs. Isadora Cavallo, civil engineering student, also completed the cost analysis for the rainwater catchment system that will be constructed for the Earthbag Village Pod 1. This includes the work you see here with prices, links to buy, and other details amounting to less than $6,000 for the complete system. Adolfo Maya, mechanical engineering student, and George Antonio Ricardo, also mechanical engineering student, continued evolving the vermiculture bathroom designs with a completely new design that eliminates the need for removable trays. Adolfo has modeled several additional components for demonstrating the duplicate city center laundry heat recovery systems also. Fernando Carvalho, mechanical engineering student, and Amari Tavares, BAA in science and technology and aerospace engineering student, continued running calculations and simulations for the heat recapture designs for the Earthbag Village communal showers. You can see the diversity of these here. Sayonara Batista de Oliveira, fourth year architecture and urban planning student, also began work on the Straw Bale Village Pod 2. She finished the new kitchen and entryway design you see here. Mateus Manfredini, civil engineering student specializing in urban design, also helped redesign the water catchment net zero toilet domes and the areas where these domes will be located in the village. Pictures here share this work. Last but not least, Renata Mahara, civil engineering student, continued her third week of work on the Cobb Village Pod 3. This included designing the kitchen and social spaces, and Renata also helped with an ongoing series of changes and updates to the Duplical City Center. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, Jogo Rosada, civil engineering student specializing in hydraulics, and the hydraulics intern team calculated the water consumption for a day for the Duke City Center and the bathrooms from the Earthbank Village and used this information to calculate the size needed for the reservoir. They also completed the calculations and design for the gray water and sewer pipes, as well as the potable water pipe designs. Ricardo Carrillo, design consultant and principal of Acumen Industries, and Antonio Zimbanco, civil engineering student, and the structural intern team began working together on the structural details for the city center cupola. This included exploring a variety of different approaches to pillar placement and floor support. In addition to this, the electrical intern team created a tutorial for electrical design and control systems item selection and placement and they began modeling all the rooms so that they could run lighting analysis for light placement in each room. Behind the scenes, Mike Balbino, architecture and urban design student, also helped create a comprehensive list of all the remaining components needed for this structure. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true Earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team continued the updating of our entire website to be mobile friendly. This week's work included manually updating all the food forest and large scale gardening images, more menus, and an image button at the bottom of all 400 plus of our pages. We'd say we're now about 30% done with this complete website overhaul. Behind the scenes, Binru Chen, Accountant specializing in audit and financial reporting began working on the financial statement in Excel covering tax considerations and strategies for transparent operation of a nonprofit ecotourism destination as one community. Also behind the scenes, Lucy Liu, account specializing in financial reporting and managerial accounting, continued creating the charities and other not-for-profit organizational tax filing tutorial. This week's work covered unrelated business income tax, and this work with the work of Binru is all part of the high school economics component of building teacher demonstration hubs. Last but not least, and in addition to this, Gustavo Romito, uh, mobile software developer, began working on the iPhone app you see developing here. This app will interface with the high school network and also allow people to follow our blogs and share what parts of our project they are most interested in. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a high school legal team. 
if you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our highest good society creation process. Let's engage in pragmatic utopia creation. Most people realize at this point that the resources and the knowledge exist to create a world that works for everybody. And for some, we would describe that as a utopic world. A planet where there's enough food, enough energy, housing, everybody has a home, everybody's eating high quality food, our air is clean, our water is clean. We have a new paradigm of education that is kid and teacher and parent centric. We have a new model for economics that supports all people and the planet simultaneously is built on collaboration instead of cooperation. I sorry, collaboration and cooperation instead of competition. And we have a recreational lifestyle that includes more time to do the things that we want to do, more options for the things that we can do, and more time with friends and family. For most people, this would be considered a utopic world. For more than that, it would be considered a better way of living than most people are living right now, especially if you look at the rates of starving and starvation and poverty and people without power, people without and homelessness, I mean, racial inequality, social inequality, all of these aspects could be addressed right now with a comprehensive model. So one community's approach to this is to create open source tools, tutorials, resources, blueprints, tools, <laughs> tools, tutorials, resources, blueprints, and do-it-yourself instructions for solutions. Solutions that can be implemented as either individual components for food, energy, housing, education, economics, recreational models, and truer stewardship, or that can be implemented as a complete teacher demonstration hub. A teacher demonstration hub designed to teach others how to create teacher demonstration hubs too. We call this a solution model that creates additional solution creating models. And the idea is that if we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate the teacher demonstration hub lifestyle as attractive enough, the idea will spread on its own and this idea of pragmatic utopia creation will become a reality. We think it's just a matter of participation. And so our goal is to get as many people participating to make it as fun and as easy for people to enter into the option of helping others, of living and creating for the highest good of all, of having the consciousness that is focused on what we can do for humanity, how we can create a better world for everyone, to bring these people together, to create many options for people to participate in this, and to create options for people that don't actually even care about those values to also participate. Because we see that as moving towards that utopic world too. So if this sounds interesting to you, if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds like something that you'd like to participate in, we are always looking for people to join our team. We have an amazing team of amazing people creating amazing things. And if you'd like to be a part of it, get in contact with us. Contact us through our website, share your ideas, share how you feel that you could contribute to what it is that we're creating, and let's create this together. We have models for food, energy, housing, education, recreation models, highest good economics, as well as true earth stewardship, and we're just looking for the people to help us continue to complete them, to evolve them, to finish them, and to open source them so that people can participate in the way that they want. To make that even easier, we are on all the different social media networks as well. So if you're looking for a really simple way to participate and help out one community without getting involved per se, Sharing our information on social media networks is a great way to do that. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, we're on Sue, we are on Tumblr, we are on Reddit, we are on LinkedIn, we are on Pinterest, and we're on about 15 others that I can't remember right now, but we post to all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible for people to access the information that they need and to be able to share that information uh, in the way that works best for them. And of course, people ask all the time, well, what's the number one thing that I can do to help one community? And we continue to seek large-scale funding. So donations are a great way to help us out because we are launching an iPhone application. We are launching a, a software that allows us, an open source software that allows us to um, coordinate our activities better and share information with our group better, um, as well as all of our website infrastructure. All these things cost money and none of our team is paid. Every donation that we get, every dollar that we get goes into forwarding the goals of one community. There are no salaries, there are no uh, distributions to our members. We're all nonprofit, unpaid volunteers. And so small donations help, but the number one thing that we're seeking right now is somebody to help us get the property off the market. We're working with the same property now for four and a half years, and it's still on the market. And this property is designed for us to be able to invite tens of thousands, eventually hundreds of thousands of people 
to visit one community, to experience what it is that we're talking about, everything that we're designing and creating right now, and to take that information if you want it, if you like it, and apply it in your own life, to create your own teacher demonstration, ecotourism destination, or just your own sustainable community, village, home, garden, whatever it is that you like that we're doing, to be able to see it hands-on, to experience it, to take that information in a way that works best for you, and to apply it in your own life, or with your own group of people, to evolve it in your own way. And so this is what we're up to. This is our idea for pragmatic utopia creation. We think that a world that works for everybody is not only possible, but it is just a matter of participation and time. And so as we keep on keeping on, as we continue to move forward, we say thank you for everybody that follows our progress. If you'd like more details on everything that I talked about here, visit our written blog. And of course, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our email newsletter list. Thanks for following our progress.